What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to use Nanite Tessellation in Unreal Engine 5.4 preview. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is basically manually enable tessellation in this project. It is still an experimental, that's why it's not enabled by default. So I basically created a blank project and I'm here in the folder of this project. You can just access this by going into the Epic Games Launcher, right clicking on your project and then open the folder. So let's go into the config uh, folder and we can see this default engine.ini. If we double click on this, we can open this in the notepad. And then what we're going to do is go down to the render settings, okay, which is around here. You can see render settings and right after this, you know, here, this to true, we can just paste it and we can paste this two little things, which is art.nanite.allow tessellation equals to one and art.nanite.tessellation equals to one. Now make sure that they are spelled exactly the same. I will just in case paste this in the description you can just copy and paste it just in case we have errors just before while just testing this video i accidentally put it one l instead of two and it didn't work and you know we just need to make sure that it's exactly written like this with that said we can just go and save the file and just close this and open back the project okay so i can go back here and double click to open the project there we go. So one thing that I wanted to mention is that we need to do that uh, with the engine closed, okay? Just in case so things are applied. Then what we need to do is enable another plugin, okay? Which uh, basically now we have tessellation in the project, but we need to now enable tessellation with Nanite in the project. So we go to edit, we can go to plugins, and we can basically search for Nanite. And we have this Nanite displaced mesh. So if we enable this, we can say yes, it's in beta, it's okay, and then again, restart the editor. All right, so now both tessellation and nanite tessellation is in our project. So what I am going to do now is basically go and just import a Quixel material so we can you know, test this up. So I am going to go to Window, Quixel Bridge, and I am going to be using this beach cliff material, okay? You can just search that on the Quixel Bridge and just go ahead and select the highest quality, download it, and then I already have download, so I can just go ahead and press add. And now I should have it in my project, there we go. Now, we are not going to be using this material, we are going to be creating our own one. So what we can do is just right click and create a new material, and let's name this something as M underscore um, nanite tessellation, and let's open this up, right? Okay, so now we have this you know, new node and everything like that. So let's go ahead and select this node or just the graph itself. And on the details for the material, we can search for Nanite. And there are two things that we need to enable. First of all, tessellation itself. And now we have this new displacement node over here. And also, of course, use with Nanite. So we can use tessellation with Nanite, which is what we want. And apply, save, and there we go. So now the only thing we need to do is press Ctrl space, go to the Mega Scans folder, surfaces, beach cliff, and drag in these three textures, okay? So the first one, which is the, uh, the libido, right? The base color itself will go from RGB to base color. This gives the color to the material. Then there's the normal maps, which we will also apply. So let's go and plug the RGB into normal. And then this last one will contain three different things. First of all, the red channel is basically the ambient occlusion, which will give some nice little face shadows. Then the green will be the roughness itself, okay? So we have this the according roughness to the material. And then finally, which is the most important thing for this tutorial, is of course the blue channel to the displacement. And now our mesh will have displacement. Now, if I go and select this node again, or just the graph, and just go to the material details and search for nanite, I can expand this displacement map and we have one thing called magnitude and center. So what we need to do is play with the magnitude. So let's see. First of all, let me go ahead and create a new level, which will be a basic level. And then let me delete the ground and create a new landscape. So let's go up into landscape options, leave everything by default and just press create. Then let me go ahead and just paint a bit of, you know, hills over here, right? So we can test this like this. And I'm gonna go back to the selection mode, select the landscape, and let's go and search for Nanite in the details. And let's go ahead and click Enable Nanite, 
and build data. So now it's basically converting this landscape to use Nanite, which of course is very important. It wants to use tessellation with Nanite. Okay, with that said, I can just go ahead and go to the main properties and select the landscape material, which of course will be this M Nanite tessellation. So let's go ahead and just drag this in and boom, as you can see, we have this placement <laughs> going on, but it is too much and it looks awful. So let's go back to the material and we can put the magnitudes to something more as 0.5. So if I now apply and save, we go back to the engine and boom, we have something which makes more sense. But this texture is too small and it is very repeated and it doesn't look good. So what we're going to do is change the tiling. So we can add a texture coordinate node. All right, and we can change the uh, UV tiling to 0.3 and 0.3. I always use this in my videos, 0.3, because this is the sweet spot to make it a bit bigger for the uh, Quixel Mega Scans asset. Let's plug the UVs to all three textures. And now basically we change the UVs of this uh, material. Now it's bigger. So there we go. Now we have this placement in our ground and it looks absolutely amazing now if i go and change my view mode to nanite triangles boom we can see all the nanite triangles with this placement happening which is so so cool so let me go back and what we can do is change also the lighting so we can see this a bit better and here's where we actually can take a look at this like <laughs> wow there we go guys we have this placement going on and of course you can change this uh, magnitude value right over in tessellation so we can change this displacement but overall it looks absolutely amazing uh, let me get the player start over here and just pull it up press play and boom we can now walk in our landscape with tessellation and look at that it looks like we have so much detail in our ground like if there was like millions of individual meshes but not it basically is the landscape material with some displacement and tessellation so that's it guys i found this video helpful i would really appreciate it you could like video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of i'm going to find videos time to tell so check them out remember that you can get the profiles through patreon or youtube members join my discord server to talk with me and other devs follow me on my socials and now yes for all i said Bye-bye.